a warm welcome to you all. Hope you'll thoroughly enjoy our program. May we remind you that for the convenience of those patrons who prefer not to smoke, seating areas on the right-hand side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated. Hi there. I've been watching him. He finds a safe place, stops, and stands well back from the curb. He always stops before crossing the road, looks and listens, and off he goes, looking and listening all the way. He's great. I'm going down. Congratulations. You really know what you're doing. Always use the Green Cross code, because I won't be there when you cross the road. they met, they knew it was the real thing. Make it fast. Hi, I, I, I think there's been some kind of mistake. I sublet this apartment from Good this night. friend of mine. Technically, that apartment belongs to me. Now, do I come up there now, we discuss this amicably, or do I storm the place in the morning? Five minutes. The only practical solution is that we share the apartment. I'll bet. You win. Get your bags. You get the small bedroom. <sighs> Say hello to Richard Dreyfus. Oh, Say hello to Marsha Mason. An actor. Say hello to Quinn Cummings. I think he's kind of cute. He reminds me of a dog that nobody wants. You are never to think he's cute. Never. <laughs> you don't think I'm sexy? Are you kidding? Say hello to the are Goodbye Girl, right? Neil Simon's oh, first oh, new comedy since Murder by Death. If you don't let go of me, I am going to punch your other eye out. It's a relationship built on trust. Is that a girl in there? I certainly hope so. And mutual respect. I thought you said you were decent. I am decent. I also happen to be naked. More than neighbors. Isn't there a church where you can do that? Less than lovers. Mismatched roommates living alone together. <laughs> Don't you ever do that again? Your lips may say no, no, but there's yes, yes in your eyes. <laughs> what begins as simple aggravation. What is it? blossoms into utter hostility. I don't like the panties drying on the rod. The goodbye girl is about failure. Not bad. My problem is I uh, need him very young. Young? Okay, I'll work on it. The goodbye girl is about success. It's my first standing ovation. The goodbye girl is about to become one of your favorite movies. Richard Dreyfus. I said it was formal, kid. And Marsha Mason. Don't panic. Even Ginger was nervous the first time she danced with me. In Neil Simon's delightful new comedy, The Goodbye Girl. Say hello to laughter. Say hello to tears. Say hello to The Goodbye Girl. Paula, don't play games with me. My socks are underwater. Let me tell you goodbye. demand satisfaction. Honor for him is an appetite, an obsession to kill. No apology is accepted, no quarter given. Only death will satisfy honor. 
You have insulted me! I have strained my patience in order not to do so. But I demand an apology. Strife without reason, a quarrel pursued for its own sake. Fevo intends to kill you. Gentlemen, prepare to advance. Nobody understands why you fight with Armand. I believe you feed your spite on him with no more sense than a nasty, blood-sucking louse. Shot! If he so earnestly desires to kill me, he will kill me. Damn it, kill him! Keep away from him. Keep ahead of him. Put your trust in Bonaparte. With this ring, I renounce love. I'll make do with you. You were the one I always wanted. You. You who's a... Uh... certain blind look. He has that look, don't you think? Now, just when you thought it was safe to go back to the movies, the legend continues. Chief Inspector Clouseau. When they shot at him, he laughed. When they shortened him, he sang. But when they killed him, special delivery at them. He really got mad and demanded revenge. Peter Sellers is the late, great Chief Inspector Clouseau. The great Inspector Clouseau will not be bothering us anymore. Who has the cunning and expertise to confront the leaders of the underworld? A dozen countries have offered the services of their finest detectives. Who is the only man on Earth who can seek revenge for the beloved Chief Inspector Clouseau? Who? Who else but Clouseau? peek <laughs> The only man who cares. He's going to solve his own murder, even if it kills him. <laughs> Master of disguise. Al Pacino. <laughs> it's only an old salty sweetie seed dog. Hello, Inspector. Sleuth extraordinaire. Who were those two men who tried to kill you last night? The killers. Clouseau is back on the case. <laughs> and revenge has never tasted this sweet. <laughs> Look this strange. Or been this funny. Never until the revenge of the Pink Panther. Until we meet again and the uh, case is solved.
town of Hartland, he left his musical instruments. These instruments have the power to make dreams come true. And as long as they remained in Hartland's care, humanity would live happily forever after. forward to and come and enjoy the best on the big screen scene at this cinema. By these straws containing Humphrey's favourite flavour, and they're only 10p for three from your Unigate milkman. All you do is snip both ends off, stir in your powder, and it's ready to drink. Behind you. Here, I'm not falling for that old one again. Mm. Here's the Humphrey's favourite flavour. Ah! Discover Humphrey's favourite flavour. Get three Humphrey flavour straws, only 10p from your Unigate milkman. Your course is set to faraway ports, accessible only across the forbidding lime green waters of the Bermuda Triangle and its sinister, unforgiving mystery cloud. Even the ports along the way are not safe. Can you beat the unknown? Can you save at least some of your fleet? Can you make it home with your cargo? This is the Bermuda Triangle from MB Games. For some, just a game. For others... Don't worry. 
saying he's been round here all week. Chuck him some crisps, that'll keep him quiet. <laughs> no, that's no good. It wasn't crunchy enough. It's not KP. Chuck him one of those. Go on, any flavour will do. What did I tell you? KP crisps? I think it's the only thing he comes here for. Down, boy, down. When it comes to the crunch, it's KP. Introducing a classic combination. Give me that. New Cadbury's Caramel. Dairy milk chocolate with a rich, firm caramel center. Delicious. Maybe this will help. It certainly will. Cadbury and Caramel. Some things were just meant for each other. for ice cream or maybe some nuts a cool glass of orange why not try a hot dog or a sparkling ice cool Pepsi from the sales girls and in the foyer now on Saturday and I'll give you the world. We'll spend the evening on the yacht sipping Pepsi from champagne glasses under the stars. Think about it. I'll give you my phone number and you can call me when you've decided. Your office number or your home number? Neither. It's a fish and chip shop over the road. But they'll take a message. Cool dog and hire walking past and then ever get a cool fizz in Pepsi. Amazing new lolly from Lion's Maid, Space 1999. Icy lime flavor outside, oozy red center. Space 1999, with free picture cards from Lion's Maid. Of course I love sure. But I should butter kiss, don't I? Mm. Butter kissed. On sale now. It's no good you sitting there dying of thirst looking at these oranges. They're absolutely forbidden in here. I mean, well, I mean, it's not a greengrocer's, is it? I mean, they make a terrible mess. People get squirted in the eye and, and, and sometimes in the circle. I mean, all this peel, you know, the usherettes. The usherettes have absolutely refused to, and that came as a great surprise to the manager, because you see these pips. I mean, they get flicked at people in the front, and they hit them in the back, and they get trodden on. Messy business. On the other hand, we have no objection to you making loud slurping noises and dribbling down your front with your aura. Orange. Heck, your aura. Mm. Funnily enough, it's made from fresh oranges. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Went up my nose.
17, do you want to report a UFO? Over. Close encounters of the first kind. Sighting of an unidentified flying object. Close encounters of the second kind. Physical evidence of a UFO. Close encounters of the third kind. Actual contact. Columbia Pictures, in association with EMI, presents Close Encounters of the Third Kind. The director is Steven Spielberg, whose most recent motion picture, Jaws, is already a legend. The producers are Julia Phillips and Michael Phillips of The Sting and Taxi Driver. Creating special effects is Douglas Trumbull, who in this film goes far beyond his achievements in 2001 A Space Odyssey. For the music, there was only one choice. 11-time Academy Award nominee John Williams, composer of the scores for Jaws and Star Wars. The technical advisor is the world's foremost authority on unidentified flying objects, Dr. J. Allen Hynek of Northwestern University. Heading the cast is Richard Dreyfus, who has shown his rare talent in such diverse films as American Graffiti, The Apprenticeship of Duty Kravitz, and Jaws. And making his American debut as an actor is the great French director, Francois Truffaut, winner of the 1974 Academy Award. A close encounter could happen to anyone. It could happen to you. It does happen to Roy Neary. An average working man, Neary finds his life, his very world, changed. Who are you people? We have very little time, Mr. Neary. We need answers from you. They're honest, direct, and to the point. Who are you, Have people? you fait récemment une rencontre? Have you recently had a close encounter? I want to speak to someone in charge. Une rencontre plutôt inhabituelle. I want to lodge a complaint. A close encounter with something very unusual. What the hell is going on around here? Who the hell are you, people? The title of the picture, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, refers to an intriguing possibility. Well, a close encounter of the first kind is one is close, but nothing really happened. Close encounter of the first kind is visible contact with a UFO. Forget the shape and forget how fast it's going. It's something that you just can't explain. Close encounters of the second kind are those which leave a physical trace. Holes in the ground, fern rings, broken tree branches, telephone lines down, animals disturbed, the stopping of car engines. And the close encounters of the third kind are the most interesting of all. Close encounter of the third kind is really when you meet them. Close encounters of the third kind. The experience of an ordinary man shared by people from all over the world. 
irresistibly drawn by a compulsion they don't understand to witness the most dramatic event in the history of the human race. And what you will see has never been seen before. in an Indiana town and leads to one inescapable conclusion. season to be jolly. Yes, sir, folks, it's time to celebrate a great movie year. Remember the big ones? How about Jaws, Star Wars, A Star is Born, Silver Streak, Network, Rocky, The Deep, and many more. What will be the big ones for 1978? Your guess is as good as mine, but one thing's for sure, there'll be plenty of thrills, chills, music, laughter, glamour, Spectacle, all right up here on the big screen. And you mix them all together, they spell great entertainment. Thanks for coming, folks, and I hope you'll see your happy faces beaming at the big silver screen all through the coming year. Have a happy holiday, and remember the slogan of the year, movies are great in 78. you that full details of all our West End programs appear in the weekly film guide, available free from the foyer staff. Now we present our feature film.